The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an absolutely incredible breed known for their courageous nature, intelligence and love for companionship with their family. You may be looking into bringing a Staffy into your home or have just started your journey with your Staffy and you're curious about the breed's temperament. In today's video I'll be discussing how playful this remarkable breed is. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Staffies. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Staffy pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffordshire Bull Terrier video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out just how playful the Staffy is. Staffordshire Bull Terriers have not always had the best reputation as a breed due to originally being bred to fight other dogs, but what people do not always realise is that the Staffy is actually not a dangerous breed at all. They're bold and courageous dogs, but they are reliable, loving and loyal dogs that long for companionship with their owners. They require a lot of socialisation from a young age with strangers and other animals for them to grow into confident, good-natured and well-rounded dogs, as with all dog breeds. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Although they need quite a bit of care and attention, they are an incredibly good choice for a dog owner that is after a dog that is loyal and affectionate. When these dogs are well-bred, well-trained and well-socialised from a young age, they're a real pleasure to have around due to their good-natured and people-orientated personalities. Staffies love your attention and long to show you just how much you mean to them through their loving and devoted nature. They're known to be very kind and tolerant towards children of all ages, as long as they have plenty of socialisation to get used to how they're expected to behave. As with all dogs and young children, you should not leave them unattended. They can be slightly boisterous at times when playing, so this is very important to be aware of if you're someone who has very young children. The Staffy is an intelligent breed, and when they're well-bred and in the right hands, they can be quite easy to train. It's common for this breed to have a slightly stubborn element in them, which means you need lots of patience and consistently train your pup. You should train your Staffy with a firm but gentle hand, as although they are a strong-willed breed, they are also pretty sensitive in nature. Their love for their human companions makes them extremely eager to please you. They benefit greatly when they have a calm and consistent leader. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an incredibly people-orientated dog breed, and does not tolerate being left on their own, and can even suffer from separation anxiety. Their sensitivity and strong devotion to their beloved human companions can cause this, so if you're looking for a dog that can be left alone, the Staffy is not going to be the breed for you. You can train your dog to be left alone for very short periods of time, as long as you start this training from a young age. Being dogs that genuinely enjoy the company of people makes their playful personality great in a family setting. They're not a one-person dog and absolutely love, as I mentioned before, to play with all the family. They need to be in a family that is the time and are willing to play with this high energy breed in order for them to maintain a happy and healthy life. If you do leave your dog for short periods of time, then be sure to leave them with an activity like a toy where they have to figure something out like how to get the treats out. A Staffy's high intelligence means that they need to have lots of mental stimulation to prevent any destructive behaviours from developing. They're a high energy active breed that need a minimum of one hour of energetic exercise each day. The more exercise that you're able to give your Staffy, the more relaxed they will be in the home having released their energy on a long walk. They are impressively athletic dogs with a muscular build and have actually been known to easily jump tall fences without much effort at all. Being intelligent dogs, they also need a lot of mental stimulation to prevent boredom, which as an owner you will need to be able to provide. If you're looking for a dog that can fit into your already active lifestyle, then the Staffy may be a great choice for you, as long as you can train and socialise them as they need. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is known for being a free-spirited and good-natured breed. They're athletic and playful dogs that love being with their owners. Their playful personality and often funny behaviours make them a great dog for the whole family. 
With persistence and consistent training, you can teach this highly intelligent pup to do lots of different tricks, which can make playtime even more entertaining for both you and your dog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.